Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the OMFG Outlandish Mini Figure Guys Series 3. Includes five figurines inside this pack here. This comes to us from the good folks over at October Toys. I'm going to provide the information down below, so if you want to check out October Toys and and if you want to follow Toy Break, the guys that uh, are producing these are also helming Toy Break. So if you want to watch a fun YouTube channel, definitely check out Toy Break as well. Uh, on the back of the package, Outlandish Minifigure Guys Series 3, we've got Dr. Decay, we've got Barbarian Knot. Fruit Punch, Ten Can, and Pugnacious. Down below it also indicates to us which ones were created by which characters or which people were responsible. Dr. Decay by Jonathan Wart W O J C I K. And I do a uh, I do apologize for any mispronunciation. This was also created by George Gaspar. Uh, Barbarian Knot was created by Jar uh, Charles Marsh. Pugnacious by Bill McKay and George Gaspar. Fruit Punch by Scott Tolson and George Gaspar. And Ten Can by Richard Brown and Nicholas Sardos and Brian Falk. To go to also, you can go to www.octobertoys.com forward slash forum. Uh, indicated up the top there as well. Without further ado, Spot's going to take himself a break. I'm going to get this opened up. And when we come back, oh, you know it, we're going to have a look again at more. OMFG Outlandish Mini Figure Guys. Stay tuned, guys. There's more heading your way. Don't go anywhere. First, having a look at the character Pugnacious. You've got yourself a barbarian-looking character, of course, with a dog head. I wonder if that's a pug head. It kind of looks like I would say a pug. Um, I think he looks pretty neat, though. In fact, you know what? Something to be said for all of the OMFGs. Spot's one of Spot's favorite uh, collectibles, because this reminds me of the old muscle figures. And though, unfortunately, a lot of my muscle figures that I had as a kid were all since gone. I would like to actually go back and pick some of those back up. But these really remind me of the old muscle figures. Perhaps not to say that some of the muscle figures had dog heads uh, on their characters, but still, Pugnacious look pretty awesome indeed. Uh, they are a staction piece as they would be with uh, Muscles and other figures as well. I don't know if I would say uh, Pugnacious is one of my favorites, of certainly of this lot. There's a lot of characters, real um, dynamic characters in this particular set, Series 3. But there you have Pugnacious. Moving him along, moving him aside, I should say. Let's have a look at Dr. Decay. Dr. Decay is lives up to his name. He looks like he is part toadstool, or he's got a toadstool for a hat, and also for a side cane. Maybe this is actually just some sort of umbrella he's wearing. He definitely lives up to his name, though. Very decayed. Looks like a, a skeletal-like creature. Part, probably part skeleton, part fungus. Dr. Decay. Even the undersides of his feet are actually uh, sculpted as well. That's a nice touch. Dr. Decay. Kind of looks like something that you would see from uh, Davy Jones' um, ship in Pirates of the Caribbean 2. Like one of those one of those characters on his ships. Mascots? No, not mascots. I'm trying to think of the words. Eh, oh well. His band of merry men. There we go. Next, having a look at Barbarian Knot. Kind of looks like a cross between Barbarian and a Spaceman. That's a combination that I like quite a bit. He's got himself like a spiked shield, a battle axe, very similar, very, very similar to like a He-Man battle axe. Space helmet, though he still has the horns on the sides. A little bit of country, a little bit of rock and roll, all awesome. Packed into Barbarian Knot. He's pretty cool. I like him. It's still pretty cool. Uh, moving along to actually some of the, my more favorite of these characters, we've got Fruit Punch. Very angry, and I would not suggest probably putting your mouth and sucking from Fruit Punch's straw. He is going to literally live up to his name and punch you in the face. But he's cute. He's extremely cute indeed. On the back, OMFG. 
little tiny shoes. I suppose those are adequately sized shoes for the size of drinking box. If this was a larger drinking box, I would imagine he would need bigger shoes to accommodate the weight. If somebody though does ask you for a Hawaiian punch, in this, in this case, if it was coming from this guy, the answer you should be giving him is no. That's just, I'm just trying to help you. I would say no is probably the... And finally, finally, putting him down here, having a look at the last one. And you know what? This one actually could be my favorite from this set. Let's have a look at 10 can. 10 can. He's got a lot going on in this can, that's for sure. I don't even know what where he starts and where he ends. It looks like he could have an eyeball in his in his can. He's got the peg leg going on there as well. Uh, a sneaker. I don't know if that's a Reebok. What would a monster really wear for a shoe? I, Adidas? I, I don't know. Would it, I guess Adidas would be probably more suitable for a monster. They don't really need the the lifts and suspension that you would get with a Reebok or Air Jordan. Air Jordan spots dating himself. Anyways, anyways, we've got a little slimy top going on there. He's oozing out from the top of this can. If no other reason than when your mom tells you to put out the trash, you put out the trash because this is could be what happens when you leave it. I know I haven't put out the trash a couple of times. I thought to myself, oh. Oh man, I gotta put that tra I gotta put that trash out. Yeah, see what happens. This is this is if I had left it a little bit longer, I would have had some problems on my hand, some big problems. Anyways, there you go, guys. Outlandish minifigure guys series three. Again, just absolutely loving these. These are just such cool collectibles. Even Spot can't get them to stand. There we go. Get them to properly stand up, just like that. And there you go. There's a photo, photo, family picture right there. Um, today's collectible spot, though, we're having a look at the uh, October Toys OMFG Outlandish fin Minifigure Guys Series 3. And certainly, if you are interested, again, in picking these up, Spot's going to provide all the information down below. Certainly, also, stay tuned. Spot's got more collectible spots heading your way. And as always, I'll see you next time.